welcome back to day eight of 12 days of digitals. Yay! <laughs> if you haven't already, you can purchase the kit from the link below um, for Julie's shop and my Etsy shop. And today, these are the two pages we'll be working with. The one with the bingo card and all sorts of fun journaling types of cards and these really cute Christmas cards with Santa and Mrs. Claus or Mrs. or Santa Claus's family. I'm not sure. Anyway, we're gonna use these two pages. And there's also a freebie for today. So you can download the link below and get your freebie and play along that way if you would like. You can also join um, my Facebook group or Julie's Facebook group and the JPEG version will be in the files of our Facebook groups. All right, so lots of fun journaling cards to play with today. I have the kit cut out and inked. I did not cut out the, the freebie yet. Um, might have to get to that. So I have an idea in my head. <laughs> and it will be interesting to see if it will actually turn out. I tried a sample page before I started filming and it kind of, it worked. Um, so let's just see if we can do this on camera. So if you want to try this, you want to get, um, I will link this below. I got this off of Amazon and what it does is it's for, um, I mean, it's for sewing. It's not really for paper crafting. Let me see if I can do a better one. And it makes a perforated kind of cut like that. And then I thought, oh, well, we could make like a book with our journaling cards that has perforations and then you could tear it off when you want to use that journaling card. We'll see if it works. So again, I'll have this or something similar to this link below. I did get it off Amazon. And I don't know if I searched perforated um, cutter or not. And then you'll need some sort of little cutting mat. And then I'm going to, need to use coffee dyed pages and a um, scrapbook paper for my cover of the little book. And for the life of me, I cannot find my ruler. That would be really nice to have. All right, so this, let's see if I can use this. This was the size that I think all of the cards will fit in. I think this is a nice size cover. So folded in half, it is five and a half by uh, basically a little more than three and a half. Well, three and three quarters. So what is that? So that's basically 11 by, yeah, I would say three and three quarters. You can make it as tall or as short as you want. So I'm going to make my cover, this was my sample cover. I'm gonna make my cover the same size. I'm gonna get out my cutting. Board. I think I'm just going to go ahead and fold it now. This is just a piece I've had in my stash forever and it's a super cool page. Oh, now I can't remember. <laughs> uh, five and a half. Okay, so I want it five and a half. I'm going to cut off the top. So that's not right. That's not right, Kara. Three and three fourths. There we go. This is the way that is five and a half. Good grief. Okay. Side. There's our cover, and then 
let's go ahead and cut some of these down. So I'm gonna make these three and a half tall, so they're a little smaller. And that, yep, that should be the right width. My, um, my son and my daughter are doing online school and the class needed the book Don Quixote and the teacher sent a digital version and my son printed the entire book out. So that's what this is, Don Quixote, coffee dyed. <laughs> I didn't want to waste all that paper, my goodness. He actually helped me coffee dye. It was pretty fun. All right, let's see if that's, we'll start with those and see if we need more. All right. So here's my thought. Get my pieces out. side and then I'm just going to use my tape gun you can use glue the other cute thing is if I would have stitched around these first that'd be kind of fun so I'm just going to stick this on like this for now and then I'm going to go to my next one, and I'm not all the way next to the middle, but I have some space. I mean, I could even go out here if I wanted to. But right now, I'm just going to stick these on the book pages. And then I'm not going to put anything on this back one. Side as a journaling area. It's Santa. All right, let's get the next one. I think it'll still be okay. You know what we could do? Let's just do it like this. Let's just do it sideways. This guy might have to stay. We'll see if I end up ripping it. dye paper on the whole thing. So I'm going to stick it down here. That should be fine. Because you'll see the next part that I'll do. I think putting it this way should be okay. Hmm. 
two of the horizontal ones. That would work. Like that. Okay, so now I'm going to go back and I'm going to trim off this extra part. I'm going to not trim here, but I'm going to trim around this guy. And so I'm trimming right up to where the postcard is. And then I guess if we want these to be separate, we can cut in the middle and down below the bottom. one. I do think I might sew it. I think that would add the extra special <laughs> touch to these. But you wouldn't have to, but I think I am now that I'm cutting. And then I'll come back and show you how we will make it a, a book where you can tear off the edges or tear off the journaling cards. All right, so here we have our pages so far. Should we, we have two more ready? We might as well. So let's stick a couple more of these on. We just have a couple flowers left and one little card. Not bad. Trim around this. Trim this part. They can come apart. Reminds me of the Mother's and Father's Day coupon books <laughs> that we used to give to our parents growing up for 
Father's Day or Mother's Day. All right, so there's that. So now I'm going to go clean up a little bit. I'm going to sew and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did my stitching around all of the cards. Oops, missed the thread. So those are all stitched. And now, before we assemble, we need to make the perforations. Okay, so I'm gonna take my little cutter guy and I'm going to try and go along right next to where the card is and then I'm just going to roll right down. And then I'm hoping, yep, that worked, that that will add my perforation mark. So I'm going to go ahead and do this with all of my cards. I think we're ready to assemble. I also cut these two from the freebie. I think I'm gonna put these two on the cover. Right now, let's kind of figure out how we want our book to go. Oh, I think I wanna ink my edges. <laughs> you can embellish the cover, you know, as much as you would like. For now, let's do this and then assemble it and then we'll see if we wanna add anything else. Oops. Kind of fun with the different sizes. Put that in the middle. So now I could choose to do a just a little pamphlet stitch, maybe poke two holes in there, or it might be too thick to sew. I'm not sure that might work, but let's get let me get out some red. tool somewhere in here. There he is. And then my pokey book. <laughs> and then I need my needle. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to eyeball it, I think. So I think I just want two holes. The two holes will work. One, two. Get some thread. I squished my <laughs> the eye of my needle with my pliers because I was trying to pull it out when I was threading a book and now it's really really hard <laughs> 
to thread. <clears throat> so we want This is up to you if you want to tie it on the inside or on the outside. If you want to do two or three holes, all those good things, up to you. much on my thread. <laughs> Have three some threads sticking out and okay before I decorate I bet you're thinking okay well does it work <laughs> so here's my little book and let's rip out one of these back here so you just take it and you tear and there's your journaling card cute right and then you have all these other journaling cards that you can use throughout your journal. How cute would this be to send it to a friend in Happy Mail? How cute would that be? And maybe instead of doing them on the inside, putting them on the outside so when you flip you would see it like that. That might be a good idea. Or to do the front half of the book on the front and then the other ones like we did. Something, something to try. Let's add these to the front. And then this one says from and to. So that's kind of fun. You could gift it to somebody. Super cute for a happy mail. something to my ribbons. Trim these off a little bit. There we go. Okay, there we are. So now, I think that it was it, except for our couple. Oh yeah, we could use these on the cover too. This flower would be really cute. Or even on the first page. We'll put these here so that the first plate page is in blank. And then my flower. And then we'll stick this flower on the front. There we go. Cute. Yay! I love it. I love that it works. <laughs> Very cool. And it wasn't that hard to put together. That's really fun. All these little things that you can tear out 
and use. I'm loving it. Super cute. All right. That's it for day eight. Don't forget to get your freebie. Don't forget to get this guy so you can use and play along. Even if you didn't have the kit, you could do the same kind of book with the freebie today. That's pretty fun. All right. Have a wonderfully crafty day. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.